Krypton Core presents Superconductors by Tasneem, Sahar, Aziza, and Shabano. Imagine if we could find a way to remove electrical resistance, thereby eliminating energy loss. We know that heat increases resistance, and cranking down the thermostat ought to decrease it, right? What it does within limits. In normal conductors, resistance falls as the temperature drops, but never completely disappears. Superconductors work a bit differently. As a superconductor cools, it follows a similar curve of gradually dropping resistance until it reaches its particular critical temperature. Then, abruptly, all resistance disappears. It's as if resistance were slowly losing its tug of war with conductions. And then, frustrated, let's go to work. We'll discuss this in more detail soon. Before we go on, let's define a superconductor. A superconductor is an element, alloy, or compact that conducts electricity without resistance when pulled below the surface. Superconductivity is the closest phenomenon to perpetual motion that we have achieved. Think of free electrons in a typical conductor as students hanging out in the school atrium. An applied current is like the bell announcing the beginning of class. In an instant, individual motion transforms into a single, united movement towards the classrooms, or would were it not for a few troublemakers who linger and stumble at the staircase and continue gossiping with their friends. Because of the resistance they cause, some students are late to class and miss the first part of the lesson. Thus, the current loses energy. Such is life at Conductor High School. Inside a superconductor, the behavior of electrons is vastly different. Let's replace those students with an undercover flash mob. At the bell, they partner up and perform a synchronized choreographed dance for the atrium. No one is late to class, and they're all less tired when they get there. That's the wonder of Superconductor High School. The ability of electrons to pass through superconducting material unobstructed was discovered in a more complicated structure related to quantum mechanics, which three American physicists, John Body, Leon Cooper, and John Schreifer, explored in the theory of superconductivity known as the BCS theory. The critical temperature for superconductors is the temperature at which the electrical resistivity of a metal drops to zero. The transition is so sudden that it appears to be a transition to a different phase of matter. This superconducting phase is described by the BCS theory. Cooper realized that the atomic lattice vibrations were directly responsible for this strange phenomenon. They forced the electrons to pair up into teams in order to pass all of the obstacles. This condensation of electrons is known as the Cooper pairs. Cooper and his colleagues knew that for electrons to come together, there must be an overwhelming attraction overcoming the normal repulsion. So what's the big deal about superconductors? What do we get out of them in our everyday lives? Well, superconductors have the potential to completely change our lives economically, technologically, and ecologically for the better. Moreover, superconductors can perform life-saving functions in the field of biomagnetism. Most MRI systems use a superconducting magnet, which consists of many coils of wire through which a current of electricity is passed, creating a magnetic field. Maintaining such a large magnetic field requires a good deal of energy, which is accomplished by superconductivity kept in liquid helium insulated in a vacuum. So far, superconductors sound pretty awesome. I mean, who doesn't love the idea of levitating vehicles like the ones you see in futuristic movies? However, it's time to be realistic. Superconductors do come with a few disadvantages. They require extremely cold temperatures. We're talking 39 kelvins, minus 230 degrees Celsius, minus 389 Fahrenheit. The maintenance prices are very high, which often questions whether superconductors should be used for technological advancement. However, scientists are looking for application for superconductors in the future, which can positively impact the environment. To illustrate, superconductors can be used to transport energy over long distances without any significant loss. For example, solar energy absorbed in one location can be transported and used hundreds of kilometers away without energy loss. Although the use of superconductors have their own disadvantages, its applications in new technology will allow for more efficiency, which is evidently very beneficial to many aspects of our everyday lives. Who knows, perhaps a future viewer will watch this exact video on a computer equipped with near-light speed processors hooked to a grid powered by fusion reactors, all thanks to superconductivity.
created using Powtoon.